Welcome to the CEO Insider powered by Y Texas. Welcome to the CEO Insider podcast brought to you by Y Texas. Our guest is Mike Berry, the CEO of Hillwood. You mentioned earlier you know, the, the, the culture of Fort Worth, how business is done in Fort Worth. It's, it does big business in, in a kind of a small town feel. Are, do you, and you do business with people from all over the world. Do you feel any of that changing? Uh, yeah, you mean in the sense that... The sense that, that people that change cultures and that yes. they come here and they do business, are, are the natives changing? Are, I, I, well, I think maybe um, perspective mm -hmm. is more global here than it was, say, two decades ago. Right. But that basic culture, that basic sense of Texas hospitality still exists, mm -hmm. which is what, what makes it very unique. Um, you know, I think we've got, we've got some work to do. Uh, we have uh, Mayor Price said earlier today in her remarks that, you know, after canvassing people all over the country, the identity of Fort Worth was um, not nearly what it is. I think we were we were viewed as the 45th largest city in the country, and we're actually uh, the 14th. Mm -hmm. So we have some branding work to do, and we've got some identity building to do, and I think the community is aware of that. And and we've we've ridden off of the success and growth of North Texas and and the Dallas Fort Worth metroplex, but right. we really need we need to do more to to raise the the individual brand of of Fort Worth and attract more business directly here. And you know another thing that the mayor pointed out was the the age here. It's it's much younger than most people think. Yeah, of the major cities in Fort Worth, we're the youngest right. uh, in average age of our population, which from an employer's perspective, that's a huge positive because it's all about, today it's all about attracting right. talent. And in theory, the younger your population is, the more you can build a pipeline to, to grow that that workforce into into. Uh, your business and every business talent is key you've got to find good talent uh and how do you find it in the in the fort worth the dallas fort worth metroplex i mean for hillwood uh, we're we're a, we're somewhat fortunate in the sense that we have a lot of brand identity mm -hmm. um in the marketplace so we because of that we've been able to attract a lot of people really without recruiting. However, the the market is very tight right now, and so our specialty uh, needs in the construction and development field, for instance, engineering talent, um, we, we still have to, to use multiple sources to, to recruit. But um, I, I think relative to the broader market, things are probably as tight as I can ever remember them being really? so it's more it's incumbent upon us to to put more training and put more networking uh, programs in in place yeah, my next question might be too soon to tell but did anything in the midterms happen that is that you're excited about or has you going mm? well I think I think <laughs> big picture macro picture uh, there were no major surprises mm -hmm. i think most of the outcomes were generally as had been predicted mm -hmm. um i think in texas you know what is continuing to become a trend has been that a, a lot of the state is becoming more blue mm -hmm. um and that's something that all of us just need to be uh working on developing that part of our population to engage in economic development and and the things that we're we're focused on at, at Hillwood and that you're focused on at Y Texas um, and and I think that's probably you know all in all that's a that's a good thing mm -hmm. um, because you, you look at look at Amazon's decision today to locate half of their HQ2 in New York and the other half in Washington DC um, they they have to attract a very diverse workforce population mm -hmm. all cultures all genders all backgrounds and 
I think for us to keep up with attracting companies in Texas, we've got to be attentive to the changing demographics in our state, and the changing marketplace, and we've got to be building a, a, a workforce here that, that is talented and, and capable of, of uh, handling the needs of, of any industry. Well, I thank you very much for your time. You bet. I appreciate it and wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Thank you, sir.